it wasn't one 7.1 magnitude quake we had, it was four of them, four minutes from each other, magnitude 7.1 to 6.73. I'm going to show you the details. The USGS site for the details of this is still down, and the depth of the 7.1 was at about 10 kilometers, or 17 kilometers, depending on who you want to see. And uh, the one that was 6.9 was 43 kilometers depth. Let's take a look at that. At a magnitude 6.9 in Ridgecrest, in the area of Searles Valley, in the area that's had since the 5.4 magnitude aftershock, at least 1,500 uh, earthquakes. Now, by getting trying to get into the USGS, you notice that cloud front is off. Real-time notification feed, it's off. For some reason, what's happening is there are so many people trying to get into it, it's crashed. Okay? But nevertheless, we do have the notification that we've had it. Um, depth of 17 kilometers in this area. Uh, now, we had gone to, I had gone to uh, Alatra. Uh, let's see if I can get down there. I don't think it's updated, but this is not yet. But this shows that it's had since, it doesn't even have the aftershock in here. There are so many after that. It's had, look at this. Okay, over one and a half thousand. Most of them are in California. This one happens to be in Spain. Sorry about that. But you'll see that all these quakes, look at that. They're in California. Where is that one? That's again Ridgecrest 3.8, Ridgecrest 3.52. All of these are in California. Something very, very, very strange is going on. This is in Indonesia, by the way. Okay, so three, two or three out of these, all these were in other areas. Uh, that was, we said, Indonesia. That again, that's the third one, Indonesia. And all of these are, as you can see, in California. We saw that one before. Uh, okay, that one again, Ridgecrest 3.5. And um, it shows you the depth here all the way to the right. Hold on. And uh, all of these, you can see that 3.9, that was in Greece, towards Italy. And, uh, sorry, I'm going too fast. Okay, that's in Canada. You know where that is, Bella Bella and Queen Charlotte? That's in Canada. That was where we had the uh, 6.2 off Vancouver Island that was exactly at Bella Bella. So that's swinging as well. Okay? Kamchatka. So that in Bella Bella is swinging as well at the same time as Ridgecrest, as, as you saw in one of my previous videos on this subject. A couple of, about four years ago, it was 2015. They had an earthquake first here in Bella Bella, Canada, off Vancouver Island, and within a 24-hour time span, it hit Ridgecrest. And we have the same situation here, uh, Bella Bella, Canada, off Vancouver Island, and it hit within 13 hours, it hit Ridgecrest, and Ridgecrest is still swinging. Okay? Let's keep going. Again, that's in, Val in uh, Searles Valley, Ridgecrest. That happens to be El Salvador. Okay, we have, out of all these 1,500, we have about a handful that are uh, Ostrava. That's near the Kamchatka region of, um, that's towards the Aleutian Island of Russia, uh, off of the Russian coast towards uh, Ridgecrest again. And um, 4.3, Indonesia. Ostrava, Ostrava, that's uh, near the uh, Kamchatka area. West of the Aleutian Islands, we had four in Mexico, Nicaragua four, and the rest of them are in California, as you can see. We're only up to 300 up to, and there's another, look at this, Mexico four, okay, 
so Indonesia 3 and uh, they still have not uploaded this the 6.9 others say 6.9 others say it was 7.1 um, I guess in, in a, a little bit of time they'll put that up as well so uh, okay that's not unusual that's what they did with this one here the 6.4 it was originally reported as 6.6 .6, and they downgraded to 6.4 so maybe the 7.1, oh, yeah, okay. It's changed from 6.9. Oh, this is another one. No, no, it's the same one. Okay, the 6.9 was changed to a 7.1 magnitude. Let's see if we can get the details or if it's still crashed. Because everybody must be getting to USGS to find out what's going on, you see. I've got two computers, one here, one there, and uh, the other one still doesn't have it going uh, because it's crashed. All right, doesn't matter. It's, we know that it's there. And now, if you remember, do you remember what happened last week when uh, someone uh, gave us an article? There was an article that we did a video on having to do with the uh, bubbling uh, tar, the tar bubbling off the streets of Los Angeles. Remember the alarm that we had about 700 Cali earthquakes and the tar bubbling up in Los Angeles, gas hissing sounds uh, are, uh, that were taking place and this was the key seismic zone. And we said, that's not good. And people were saying, oh, you're a fear monger. You're a fear monger, you know, clickbait fear monger. Well, now, you know, what can I tell you? I'm just trying to get out what's already on uh, in the in news articles. So this is one of the worst areas of the world. And we saw the whole ring of fire active the, these past months. And uh, it was as if we had the hand of God shadowing the whole West Coast being inactive, being quiet, being nice, being normal. And all of a sudden you have this going on. And we just put up a video of Michio Kaku who was on television this morning. And he was talking about this. He says that he believes that the big one is imminent. 99% we're gonna have it in the next 30 years, within the next 30 years. So um, the same thing with the, um, the uh, expert, the geologist who came on and said that uh, Ridgecrest is not part of San Andreas, and uh, it has nothing to do with relieving the pressure that's all locked and loaded for the San Andreas to kick in. But we have to realize that this area is only a hundred kilometers. Hundred, sorry. Okay, I live in Europe. I'm getting up. I'm getting mixed up with kilometers and miles. It's only a hundred miles from the San Andreas fault line, which is here, okay? Okay, we're off the, okay, this is kilometers, this is miles. This is San Andreas, and um, it's about 100 miles from the San Andreas fault zone, fault line. And uh, this, is, this is it right here, you see, this is the fault line that, this L type of a shape is where we're getting our, um, all these quake swarms. Now, 7.1, that's pretty big. We don't know if that's the end of it. And uh, uh, about 600 miles up, I think, is, uh, is my Google still on? Let me see if my Google Earth is still on. Because I have a lot of tabs opening up, and it may take a long time to see this. Forget it. Forget it. We're not. I'm not going to bother. It's, I think it's about a, a hundred, a six hundred miles. Uh, and we have something else that's very close by to this area. Let's go back in at uh, the uh, Mojave Desert Mano Mano Inyo Crater area. Where are we? We flew out too much. Bakersfield, okay, here we are. We'll come back in. It's the um, Long Valley Caldera. 
Let's move out. This is our Google Earth. This is where we had the 6.4, and no doubt the 7.1. I have to put another pin on it. And um, oh, sorry about that. Okay. No, I don't want to go in. I want to go out. I want to go out. Oh my goodness! I'm going to get very angry with you. Okay. Move out. Move out. Let's go back out. Okay. This is all the uh, Coso volcanic area, the Ridgecrest, Bakersfield. It's gone again. Okay. Back out. And um, I think I've pinned. That's a Pisgah crater. We've had a lot of quake swarms there over the past month. Remember, even the Salt and Buttes and um, Long Valley. Okay, there's Long Valley. We had measured it before. It's about 160 miles from this. Uh, it's 112 miles, 110 miles from, California, from uh, Los Angeles. And it's about 160 miles from Long Valley Caldera. Uh, now, they said it had no effect on Yellowstone, but this is very strong. 7-1 is very strong. And now, thank God, thank God, it was at a time when people were not sleeping in their beds, this one here. And it was at a time when uh, they've already had the other quakes, so perhaps they had the chance to get ready. To, be, to become prepared, okay? They were not, it was not a, a, a surprise thing. Um, okay, so going back to USGS, obviously it's still down. Oh, what's happened? It's still quirky. It's quirky. What's happening? All right. Well, I don't think it's, we're going to have a very big success with that. If you want... Uh, still, forget it, forget, I wonder if people, you know, with the 6.4 that was felt this morning, it, it was felt, people were shaken out of bed in Los Angeles, all right, and people in Los Angeles who were supposed to be notified of the quake never got any notification, even though, from Caltech, even though Caltech said that their system worked and, uh, is perhaps it was because it was not felt in Los Angeles, it was very weak and uh, not enough shaking. Well, they were shaken. They were shaken. There were thousands of reports of people feeling in Los Angeles, but they never got a quake notification, which they were supposed to get. So that is uh, very saddening because they put, they've they uh, enrolled in this app to get this notification, which they never got. And it was a substantial quake. I wonder if they got a, a notification for the 7.1. Hopefully they did. But at least it was at a time when people were, you know, dinner time, people were not, it was not a, in the middle of the night. And they had the four shocks that they were able to prepare for, get their documents, get their phone charged, get their cars gassed up, get their documents in their bags. Um, and uh, unfortunately, we did have some roads being cracked in the area. Uh, and uh, I don't know how much damage has been done to certain homes, but this one is 7.1, is pretty big. So um, we'll keep a lookout on this. Please be careful, all of you who are there. Uh, and uh, I pray to God that uh, this is the end of it and there's no more bigger earthquakes. But uh, this is a subduction zone. It gives huge quakes. I wonder if you've heard noise or uh, sonic booms before this came on. Definitely, you must have heard it a rumbling because it was pretty big. So I'll keep you updated with any more that comes in. Please be careful. If you'd like to join me on my Patreon account, you will hear content not covered by mainstream media. 
These riveting stories will be based on my research and I will state my opinions and give my personal insight on diverse and controversial subjects and world events, events not covered by mainstream media and not certainly on not supported by YouTube guidelines. So whatever I have on my Patreon, most of those will not be on my YouTube channel. Please consider becoming a member today. More of the, the most significant and important videos will be on my Patreon channel. Your support helps me to continue my research and keeps this YouTube channel alive. And we depend on your support, your generous charity, because we help economically challenged families here in Athens, Greece, in Kapota, and we also help the young generation with university tuition and the community around our church. Thank you.